Welcome everyone, especially Kathy, Guy, Austin, Grace, Sean, Jose, Jacob, Christoph. Today, we're going to explore a critical issue affecting our environment, the impact of air pollution on plants. We'll dive into the types of air pollutants, how they affect plant physiology and growth, and the broader environmental and economic implications. So stay tuned as we unravel this important topic. Let's begin by understanding the different types of air pollutants. Ozone, or O3, forms at ground level primarily from vehicle emissions and industrial activities. It's a major component of smog. Sulfur dioxide, or SO2, originates from burning fossil fuels and various industrial processes. Nitrogen oxides, or NOx, are released from vehicle exhausts, power plants, and even agricultural activities. Particulate matter, often referred to as PM, comes from construction sites, smokestacks, fires, and unpaved roads. And finally, heavy metals like lead and mercury are emitted from industrial processes. These pollutants can have severe consequences for plant health. Now let's talk about how ozone affects plants. Ozone enters plants through stomata during gas exchange. This process is crucial for the plant's respiration and photosynthesis. The symptoms of ozone exposure include chlorosis, which is the yellowing of leaves, necrosis, which is dead tissue, and reduced photosynthesis. The impact of these symptoms is significant. We see decreased growth and yield in crops and impaired health in forests. It's a serious issue that affects both agriculture and natural ecosystems. Moving on to sulfur dioxide and its impact on plants. Sulfur dioxide is absorbed by plant leaves, leading to the formation of sulfuric acid. This acid can cause considerable damage. The symptoms include leaf injury, reduced photosynthesis, and a weakened plant structure. The impact of sulfur dioxide is far-reaching. It results in reduced agricultural productivity, forest decline, and increased susceptibility to pests and diseases. It's clear that sulfur dioxide poses a serious threat to plant health and the environment. Slide 5 Nitrogen Oxides and Their Effects Nitrogen oxides, or NOx, contribute to the formation of acid rain. This acid rain can alter soil pH and nutrient availability, which is, you know, quite concerning. The symptoms of NOx exposure in plants include leaf damage, reduced root growth, and nutrient imbalances. The impact is significant, leading to altered plant communities, reduced biodiversity, and negative effects on crop quality. Slide 6, Particulate Matter and Heavy Metals. Particulate matter, or PM, can block sunlight and clog stomata, while heavy metals are absorbed by plant roots. The symptoms of these pollutants are reduced photosynthesis, stunted growth, and toxic metal accumulation in plant tissues. The impact of these pollutants includes health risks to humans consuming contaminated plants, degraded soil quality, and reduced plant diversity. Slide 7 Case Studies Let's dive into some real-world examples. Agricultural crops, for instance, are significantly impacted by pollution. Staple crops like wheat, rice, and soybeans show reduced yields and quality due to air pollutants. Forest ecosystems aren't spared either. Take the Black Forest in Germany, for example. This once thriving forest has seen a notable decline due to the adverse effects of air pollution. And then there's urban vegetation. City parks and green spaces suffer from pollution, affecting both plant health and the quality of life for urban residents. Slide 8 Economic Implications Air pollution doesn't just affect plant health, it has significant economic repercussions as well. In agriculture, the loss in crop yields translates to economic losses for farmers and ultimately increased food prices for consumers. In forestry, the decline in timber quality and the increased costs for forest management are notable consequences. And let's not forget healthcare costs. Poor air quality leads to a higher incidence of respiratory diseases which impacts public health and increases health care expenses. Slide 9 Mitigation Strategies Addressing air pollution requires a multifaceted approach. Policy measures are crucial. Implementing stricter air quality standards and emissions regulations can make a significant difference. Technological solutions also play a vital role. The adoption of cleaner technologies in industries and transportation can reduce emissions. And of course, public awareness is essential. Educating communities about the impact of air pollution and encouraging sustainable practices can drive collective action. 
a slide 10 conclusion. Let's summarize the key points we've discussed today. It's clear that addressing air pollution is vital to protect plant health and ensure environmental sustainability. We must all play a part in this effort, from policymakers to individuals in our communities. Thank you for your attention and I'd be happy to take any questions you might have.